Here's three simple features that make Studio One so fast to edit in. Number one is what I call the elastic timeline, right? Because we can actually come up here to the timeline, grab it, and then just pull down or up. We can zoom in and out horizontally right into you know any clip that we want, just real quick. Like that, I'm not having to come down here and try to grab some zoom slider, right? I mean, you can do that if you want. I'm not having to hold down some modifier key and then you know trying to zoom in, zoom out, whatever. Right, come right up here. It's just so fast. You can do it with one hand with your mouse. Boom, pull that in, pull that out. You can zoom in exactly where you want to. So check this out, right? If I want to zoom into this clip right here, I can just probably, you know, place my mouse, say right there, and I'll zoom in right there, right at the area, uh, right where I need to be, right? If I want to zoom into maybe this clip, you know, right here, again, zoom in right to the area that I want to see real quick. Real fast, again, not holding down a bunch of modifier keys, not having to you know, use two or three or four hands, right, to uh, get what you want. Just real quick, real fast. And you'll see how this really comes into play once we get to the other two features. Next up is another simple feature, something that's often overlooked, something you, you may not even know that you need uh, until you actually use it in Studio One. And that is horizontal scroll, right? So yeah, of course, I can come down here and grab this tiny little bar, this teeny tiny little bar, right? try to you know, scroll, I can use some modifier keys like you have to do in some DAWs. But in Studio One, if you have a mouse that has a tilt wheel or you have a mouse that has a thumb wheel, so my mouse here uh, right now has a thumb wheel, I can just immediately horizontal scroll. This really comes in handy once you combine it with your zoom in and out, you can horizontal scroll real quickly. I'm not holding down you know, any modifier keys. If you look at something like Pro Tools, my thumb wheel or if you have a tilt wheel is completely useless. You know, uh, the way to do this in Pro Tools would be you have to hold down shift and then use your standard scroll wheel, right? Now that's all well and good, but it's so much faster in Studio One where I can just use my tilt wheel or just use my thumb wheel and quickly scroll horizontally, quickly scroll side to side with just one hand. And that comes in, in you know, it really comes in handy because a lot of us will be recording while we are operating the DAW. So if you're holding something like a guitar, right, now you have to take both hands off the guitar, reach around the guitar, try to grab your keyboard, try to grab your mouse. Whereas here in Studio One, just one hand, real simple, horizontal scroll. Again, comes into play with our elastic timeline, zooming in just where I want, quickly finding, you know, maybe the area I want to edit next with my tilt wheel or my uh, uh, thumb wheel. Again, not holding down any other modifier keys. So next up is another, again, simple feature. These simple things really add up to make editing so much faster. So let's say we zoom in here just with our elastic sort of timeline, right? And then we scroll over a little bit with our horizontal scroll with no modifier keys. Now maybe I'm editing a voice track and I want to sort of duck down some, uh, some breaths or I'm you know editing drums or something and I want to get rid of maybe the snare that's in the... Uh, in the cymbal tracks or in the kick track or something, right? Well, right now I have my multi-tool selected. You could also do this with your uh, razor tool, uh, your, your, your split tool and just click once, but I'm gonna use the, uh, the multi-tool there, right? So I wanna cut out this area or dip down this area. Again, just double click there, double click there. Now I've added an edit, I've split or I've cut, or if you use like a, um, a video editor, you might use like a razor tool. That's what you're doing with your double click. So again, anywhere I want, double click. Now I've just split that. Very simple, very easy, make control Z out of that, right? So this area here I don't need. Very simple, come up here now to my clip gain, pull down that area, very easy. Use my horizontal scroll, zoom over, or you know, scroll over, double click, double click. Again, I'm not holding down modifier keys. I'm not holding down 15, I'm not, I'm not doing these complicated uh, keyboard shortcuts. Just one hand, so fast. Just pull this stuff out real quick. And of course we have, you know, cut this out here too, right? Of course we have our, our fade handles here as well, just all real simple. And with that multi-tool selected, you know, maybe I wanna come over here, I wanna cut this area, right? Of course I can select it, I can delete it, right? I can just grab it and uh, you know trim it up. Again, I have the multi-tool selected. So I can do a bunch of stuff with that multi-tool with our elastic timeline, zooming right into exactly where I need to be uh, with just one single hand, right? Just zoom right in there double clicking to add uh, add that edit just where I want. Sort of a, a bonus here of that clip gain, if you didn't know how clip gain worked here in uh, 
Studio One, but these three things really add up to make editing so much faster. Whenever I find myself in another DAW or even DaVinci Resolve, which uh, is what I used to edit videos in, whenever I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I'm always grabbing the timeline, right? And trying to zoom in and out to get into the clip that I wanna you know, mess around with. Because man, once you start working like this, where you just directly zoom in exactly where you wanna be, all with one hand, all without, you know, doing a, some weird, you know, almost like a like a gang sign to press down three or four different modifier, you know, uh, modifier buttons on your keyboard. Just one hand, just quickly zoom in, quickly double click there. Boom, boom, boom. Add your edits, pull things down, pull things up, add your fades. Of course, edit the clip, delete the little part that you split out, and then, you know, immediately horizontal scroll again without having to press any keyboard shortcuts. It's just such a fast way to work. And like I said, when I'm in DaVinci Resolve, when I'm in Pro Tools, when I'm in anything else, I find myself trying to make them work the same way as Studio One because these editing tools are just, they're really set up for, you know, not just an engineer, because if you're an engineer, you have a free hand, right? But if you're a musician and an engineer, again, you're often playing a keyboard, you're often playing a guitar, a bass, holding a microphone, something, right? So you're having to take your hands off your instruments and do a bunch of gang sign keyboard shortcuts, you know, uh, and use your mouse at the same time. Whereas Studio One is really designed to let you do all these things with that single hand really quickly and just get right back to work. You know, I just, I love, again, it sounds simple and it is simple. Horizontal scroll should be implemented in every program. You, you shouldn't have to hold down a modifier key, right? Horizontal scroll, simple thing quickly zooming in and out exactly where you want to zoom in and out from. Simple thing. These are very simple things, but again, they add up to make huge, huge differences to uh, your editing time, to your workflow, to the speed, of course, that you get, uh, you get things done. And it's just sort of a natural, fluid way to edit. You know, grabbing something and pulling it out, you know, pulling it up or pulling it down, it's just a very natural way to expand or contract something. It's just so quick, so easy, again, double clicking those things, you know, using your clip gain, which is not really one of the features I'm talking about, but uh, horizontal scroll again, very fast, very efficient, very easy, all here in studio one, six. Again, I know those things sound simple, but once you use them, once you have this workflow down, it is so quick, so fast, so easy, and such a natural way to edit. I didn't even get into all the other amazing features like the drag and drop for your plugins, you know, included things like your splitter just built in, whereas oftentimes in a DAW, you have to have a, a different plugin to be able to create individual chains and splitters and things like that. It's built into Studio One, right? All of it's built into Studio One. Uh, again, natural workflow, easy workflow, quick workflow, those simple things that just add up to make things work so much better. All right, so that is three simple features that I absolutely love here in Studio One 6.